I've never been so excited to eat something as I am right now. Neither have I. This so, is the fanciest bowl of ramen I've ever seen. See, well, let's talk. Okay, I was. <laughs> Let me Ready go. to get into it. Yeah, I'll put these on for <laughs> half a second. We can talk about the artwork before us right now. White asparagus, Ooh. albino Fancy. asparagus. Very rare. I think this is a collection of all the finest ingredients in Japan. The best bonito flakes, the best gold. Right. I was not expecting the gold. Although last time I was here, I did have gold in my ice cream, but this is a whole different thing here. How do you say the name of this egg? So it's a very special brand of egg called Oku Kujidan, which is apparently one of the higher quality eggs in Japan. It's a good egg. Let's see. Oh, I picked them up again. Um, <laughs> we've got beautiful wagyu on each side, two different cuts. I think we should just jump in. And we've into got it. our truffle sauce up here, too. I think we should start with this. Okay. You should grab your choppy sticks. All right. I'm going to get this piece right here. Kai, can you try to get oh. this shot? We can get just a piece of this because it's one, it's got gold. Two, it's got truffle sauce. Three, it's wagyu. And that's enough. That's the best cut right there. I think we just start with straight up beef. So this is a sirloin <sighs> with gold. And with gold. All right. Wow, we're so affluent. I'm gonna be in a higher tax bracket after this. Yeah, aristocrats right here. <laughs> we're joining the 1%, so let's go. Oh my god. Mm. That was outstanding. Whoa. That's one of the best bites of my life. <laughs> Truffle can usually be too much or too little, and that was perfect. The wagyu just melts in your mouth, very tender. It's got some broth still clinging to it, so it's rich, savory, and just that succulent, decadent truffle flavor on there. That was a taste of heaven. <laughs> the sauce blending into mm. the meat, and then the truffle sauce, it just brings out the flavor of the wagyu. It's amazing. What do we do with this vegetable? We need to share this. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Get the leftovers. <laughs> well, you don't want this part. <laughs> it's too late for that. How is it though? It tastes like green asparagus. I think it's just missing the green gene. But it's, you know, it's very nice. Yeah, oh. it is typical asparagus, but rarer than usual. Oh, what part is that? Sorry, that's the sirloin. Okay, guys, editors. This is the rump. No, to editors. This is the rump, and this here is the sirloin. Mm. Oh. Okay, let's get this. Okay. With the gold. <gasps> with the gold! Oh. Wow. Have you ever felt so fancy eating Wagyu beef covered in gold? <laughs> one time, I don't know. One time I... Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> Never mind. I, I had a terrible <laughs> joke. I'm not saying it. Okay. <laughs> no, one time I took off my underwear and then I kicked it up with one foot and I caught it in my hand. And this feels like that. Like complete oh, fulfillment. Just <laughs> do women do that? Guys, every guy does that. I can't say I've ever done that before. Right, but it's one of those moments. Just feel like you've succeeded in life. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so, but we should mix this with some noodle, right? We should, yeah. We shouldn't just eat the, the meat, right, but so, uh, maybe we can take a little bite. Okay. Should we take a little nibble? You're full of, you're a walking paradox. All right, let's try it. Wow. Oh, damn. <laughs> that is remarkably tender. It actually melts in your mouth. It's very melty. I wasn't expecting that. Mmm, it's very rich, very fatty. I love that as long as you've lived here, you can't get enough of the Wagyu. No, this is amazing. Let's mix it with some noodles. So yes. it's so rare that they only had enough ingredients to make one bowl. So we're <laughs> sharing, kind of destroy it now. But the ingredients are still the cream of the crop. This then... is still the fanciest bowl. They're like a thicker noodle too. This is in your typical kombini ramen. These are some thick, mochi, chewy noodles. Oh, and this very rich broth. Ooh, some gold flakes in it. Oh, so we like should it. add some flakes. Yeah, okay, definitely. these are top of the line bonito flakes, right from the bonito, and then they just flake it off. It's a dried bonito fish, and they usually use it in a lot of broths and soups in Japan. Gives it a rich umami flavor. We have Wagyu A5 sirloin, the top quality that you can get in Japan, which means in the world. This might be the best bite of ramen that exists anywhere. Very likely. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so good. The combination of everything just explodes in your mouth. That broth has like a deep savoriness to it. You can get that umami in there. Oh, and I my think gosh. that's a combination of like the truffles and the soup, the truffle oil, also the bonito flakes gives it a lot of umami flavor. All together, it's incredibly rich. Are you in a heavenly state right now? I am. It's like euphoria. I don't want to. Like drunk off of this meat. <laughs> Split right. the egg. Um. Oh gosh, we're trying to get a beautiful shot of egg. The but egg, it's, it's gone. 
is not easy to there do. There he's gone. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> it's over. The moment is over. <laughs> we ruined the egg. It's there okay. There we go. We salvaged it, guys. We got a nice egg shot, huh? Look at that. Look at that close up. Gooey, gooey goodness. Huh? That egg is so good. Oh, it's so like creamy and mm -hmm. yolky and rich, and it goes so well with the soup. Mm. And it just, yeah, it blends with that smoky flavor. Here they have something I've never seen combined with ramen, kind of a foie gras paste. Yeah, foie gras paste. They said we can actually just kind of mix it into the broth and then even put a little extra on a bite. You're not a fan of foie gras? Not a fan, no, no, no. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but you can uh, you knock a, yourself out. It's hard to be that thoughtful when I'm hungry, but you're, that's good of you. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of slurping. Hold on. <laughs> it changes everything. It's just like a more fatty, rich note at the end of the, of the e eating cycle. <laughs> you guys buying this? <laughs> I think the eating cycle is a little bit later than the eating cycle. <laughs> 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 that end of the eating cycle. <laughs> the final thing we're gonna try before we wrap it up mm -hmm. is this. We have a unrefined soy sauce. So this is just pre-soy sauce form. And we can mix this into the broth. Yes. And that's the point, okay. Yes, and it gives you another flavor to enjoy in the soup, but um, just not a little. The, not the whole thing? I've now mixed that into the broth. So now with the so, unrefined soy sauce, some noodle, some beef. Here we go. Mm. That's interesting, man. I'm actually... You found it? Okay, I'm getting it a little bit. It's not as strong as I was expecting. It's not like spicy, spicy. It's not spicy at all, actually. It's a, it's kind of a Japanese meaning of the word spice. So it has a little bit of saltiness. Mm. Got a bit of a refreshing side to it as an aftertaste. That's great. I couldn't mm -hmm. notice any difference. Oh! Did you try it on its own? No. Oh, it has a lot of the flavor now. Oh, now I get it. Yeah. <laughs> it just tastes like fermented it? soybean paste. But it's not a paste yet. It's like the solid pieces of soybean. A little bit of sweetness and um, kind of like a sake flavor in it. Because it is, they use a similar thing when they're making sake too. We did an awesome job here. Overall, I got to say, outstanding job. For a hundred bucks? Yes. I don't know. If I wanted to impress somebody, or if I was just hungover, or kind of any situation, I think I might do it. What do you think? Is it a good value for the amount of money you paid? Personally, I think that this was definitely worth $100. Just the quality of the meats, the richness of the soup, and then of course the gold flex on top, definitely $100. If you guys start coming here and demanding this food, they'll put it on the menu, and maybe we can convince them to put it in the vending machine too. You can press and it'll say 10,000 yen. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> A cut.